you know what today is? It's day 31. And my cleanse are done. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> good day, good people. It's your girl, Sid. And yes, today is day 31. Yesterday was officially my last day of my juice fast. And we're done. So, um... On the last video, it was day 21 is where we left off. So, um, from day 22 until now, there's not really much, you know, to say. It was pretty easy, pretty uh, steady weight loss. For about three days in the in a row, we had um, a 0 0.8 a pound drop uh, every day. And um, the last day... The day before yesterday, it was only a 0 0.4 pound drop, um, mostly due to Aunt Flo and her treachery. But um, today I woke up to another 0 0.8 pound drop. So um, what I wanted to talk about in this video is breaking the fast and the pros and cons of the juice fast. So um, I want to go ahead and start with the pros and the cons. As usual, I have my notes here. So, the pros, obviously, are the weight loss. I lost a lot of weight in these last 30 days. Um, skin clarity, I don't really have that much makeup on today. Um, just a little bit of powder and some eyeliner. I had to fleek out my eyebrows a little bit. Um, they look a little... Yeah. But um, other than that, no makeup. My skin's gotten really clear. I didn't really have... Um, like a lot of pimples or acne or anything like that uh, but just the tone of my skin has gotten a lot clearer uh, also tremendous energy all the way throughout the cleanse maybe with the exception of the first few days but even till now um, even with me feeling lethargic uh, due to the PMS still higher energy than usual um, before I started this cleanse as uh, a bartender, um, I shake a lot of tins, have to hold a lot of tins, and my fingers were really swollen a lot of times. Um, they would be tingly. Uh, even like in the middle of the night, I would like wake up and they would be swollen and tingly. Um, I had trigger finger, which is where like your finger gets stuck in one position and it hurts to get it out of that position. Um, and now, nothing. <laughs> Fingers feel fine. Um, also, my feet uh, used to hurt in my work shoes. I had two different pairs, but one was fairly newer than the other. And after like a couple of hours, my feet would just hurt. Um, now, that's no longer an issue. Uh, and then, finally, I just have a general feeling of euphoria, just overall, just feeling good. Um, so, those are the pros of the, of the cleanse. I, I mean, there's not really much uh, to complain about. The cons are minimal. Um, one thing that was really hard, well, not really hard, but hard enough, was I still had to cook for bay during the cleanse. So I had to smell all that good stuff I was cooking, and baby, I could cook. So, yeah, I wanted to eat it, but I wasn't hungry. Like, I didn't feel like I was depriving myself, but I just wanted to eat what she was eating. And then um, we normally eat together, so just not being able to eat with her or like drinking my juice while she's eating a bomb ass meal. I don't know, kind of just threw off our, our tradition, I guess. Um, but the only other kind that was kind of annoying was that during the entire cleanse, um, I was freezing, like it was hard to get warm, hard to stay warm. I would have every heater in the house on, like all the space heaters. Um, in the living room, we have one that's 
built into the bathroom like one in the room just burning bad just yeah but um other than that not really too many cons to speak of um definitely more positives than negatives and definitely something that i will continue to do i'm going to continue to juice um as part of my daily regimen um and uh i gotta say overall it was a good experience and it's something that i highly recommend and something that i will be doing again i will be doing reboots throughout the year so there is that as far as breaking the cleanse so i've seen that a lot of people are breaking the cleanse by just eating a soft fruit on their 31st day like a watermelon or maybe like a peach or something like that um i'm actually not going to do that i'm going to start by easing my body into softer foods by first breaking my fast with a smoothie so i'll be making a smoothie after i'm done with this video um with arden's ph solution um frozen strawberries that i froze myself not the kind that you buy from the store with the syrup and junk in them and um some frozen banana so i'm gonna blend all that together and that's how i'll be having my first non-juice in 30 days uh, later on tonight i'll be making a tomato basil soup it is pureed so again there's not gonna have any solid anything but it's gonna be thicker than all the juices i've been drinking for the past 30 days so that's how i'm gonna ease myself back into it um, mostly soups for the next week or so and smoothies in the morning for the next week or so um and then um the soups are going to progress to more chunkier vegetable filled maybe like shrimp filled dishes not going to just jump right into like chicken or anything that's harder to digest but yeah that's how i'm going to be easing out of the cleanse now let's get into my final results so, on day one, my weight was 256.6. Here on day 31, I am 229.2. So, that is a total of 27.4 pounds loss in 30 days. Uh, so that's what's up um, I can see it a lot in my face um, other people can see it a lot in my face um, let me see if you can like right here my clavicles my shoulders have gotten smaller and um, my stomach I'm actually gonna put some before and after pictures in this same outfit the outfit that I took my initial pictures in and I'm going to put them at the end of the video so you can see that um, so I just wanted to give you guys an update stay tuned for the before and afters I'm actually on my way to Sam's to do a clean food haul um, and get started with the next phase of my weight loss so stay tuned for all of that and thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like and share this video and do subscribe to my channel I'll be putting a um, link in the description box below. Gracias, good people. See y'all in the next video.